Up next on Comcast Newsmakers, a conversation with Spokane's assistant fire chief about programs to accommodate medical calls. That's coming up. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. Today we are in Spokane at the Flour Mill. And joining me right now, Brian Schaefer, who is Assistant Fire Chief for Spokane Fire Department. Well, Sabrina, hi. Nice to see you. Thanks so much for coming on the program. Well, thanks for inviting us. Absolutely. So, obviously, you all respond to fires. That's what you all do. But a large part of uh, your time and resources spent is responding to medical calls. Absolutely. The, the medical side of what we do is our most increasing uh, volume of incidents. Along with that increase, we've also seen a dramatic increase of non-emergency uh, or, or minor medical incidents. And those are the reason why we have these alternative programs. So you spend a big portion of your time responding, as I said, to these medical calls. And so now you've created programs to allow you to respond to the increasing number. So tell us about these programs. Well, there's essentially three programs. The first is a is really creative name, the Alternative Response Unit which is a single person unit that is in a small SUV. Traditionally, we used to send a ladder truck or a large fire truck to non-life-threatening incidents. Now we're, uh, we're downsizing and we're sending a single person SUV. It's far more economical, uh, much more um, easy to get around Spokane's traffic. And, and overall, it just increases our efficiency because in the past, we used to send that big fire truck and then they were unavailable for the life-threatening calls. And we've had a lot of success over the past six months with that program. So you leave the big fire truck for the life-threatening calls and you take the smaller SUV to respond to those that are not life-threatening. Absolutely. It costs us around uh, eight times more to send a fire truck in maintenance, operation, and capital costs than it does a smaller single-person unit. So it's very efficient. Uh, a very efficient use of taxpayers' dollars. Yeah, big difference. And talk about the other two programs. Uh, the other two programs are uh, extremely innovative. Uh, one is called CARES. The acronym essentially takes, or the program essentially takes uh, students from Eastern Washington University that are enrolled in the Master's of Social Work program and integrates them in with our medical services. So the, the way that I explain it best is those situations where we may get a 911 call for somebody and the firefighter paramedics get there and they can't help that person with a band-aid and they can't help that person with any of the equipment on their fire truck we call the cares team and most often those types of incidents are maybe a husband and wife that are elderly and they don't know how to help themselves they don't know what's available in the community they may suffer from constant falls uh, they may be suffering from any assorted assorted mental illnesses the social workers are able to integrate them in with the services that are in the community and get them the correct services that they need so they don't constantly use and reuse 911. And what about the final program? The, the final program is a program that, that we call Hotspotters. Essentially, the, the program's design is to take leadership from around the community, most often uh, very high-level clinicians and executives in existing programs like the fire department, uh, Spokane Mental Health, the RSN, and uh, we, we specifically case manage the top anywhere from 25 to 100 users of the EMS system, and that's inclusive of the emergency departments. We have some people in this community that overuse and abuse uh, hospital resources and 911 resources over 80 times a year. Wow. It puts a substantial strain on the healthcare system for all of us. So in, in lieu of constantly throwing money at this and, and uh, sending big fire trucks and multiple ambulance transports and emergency department readmissions, we case manage these people with the resources that we have and keep them out of the system. And I'm gonna have to stop All you right. there. We're out of Thank time, you very Brian. Much. Thank you. Yeah. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Yeah.